I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. Don't wanna wake up If I'm dreaming Because you know I can't get enough Of this feeling you're giving me Don't wanna wake up Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva and in today's video I'm going to be touring this big beautiful home. It's the Everest. It's a huge, huge home. Four bedrooms for less. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I tell you the price. But for now, let's go check out all of the wonderful features in this four bedroom home. Again, this is the Everest and it's four bedrooms. Hi family, just a quick disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be down in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Ooh. Okay, bear with me on the lighting, you guys. This is where we came in. So that's the front door. So this is like your foyer area. So you have all the space over here. You can put bench. You know, you see the, the plug here and the plug here. I would put a table here and a table there with a bench in the middle, personally. Or I would put a long credenza, credenza in the middle and then your lamps could go on either side. This is just a huge wall that I would take advantage of the space to really wow people when they walk in. So pretty. Love the color of the floors. Really nice. So when you walk in, this is your living room. Really, really pretty. So you've got all this living room, living area space right here. Really nice. Really, really nice. So all of this is your living area space. Really pretty. Love how the trim around the house is the same color as the floors. So nice. Now, remember we came in that door and this is the living room. Next to the living room, you've got your dining room. And y'all look at all the space that you have here dedicated to the dining room. So that table could be much bigger. It doesn't have to go this way. It could go that way. And you could just have a big, you just have a lot of space. You have a lot of space to maximize, to turn your living room around. Uh, you, if you have big furniture, no worries. This is just a nice space, really nice space. Next to the dining room is your kitchen. Love, love, love. This is the first time I think I've seen these light colored cabinets in a Clayton home. Love that you got that big window in there. So look at all the lighting that you have so far, you guys. Look at all of this kitchen. Like all of this is kitchen space. Look how big this island is. You have four nice chairs. I love the vibe of this kitchen, of this house, of how they decorated it. Really nice. So if, if you've got four plates, type four place settings here. So look how much in this is like an entertainer's home. Look at this huge island. Oh my goodness. You're co you're cooking, prepping, washing vegetables, chopping up food. Your guests are still being 
able to interact with you. They're able to eat and drink. You've got guests in the dining room, guests in the living room that you're talking to. Really, really nice. You've got all of the space to continue cooking and not disturb anyone. Love the wood look on the wall here. Love this home. This is beautiful. This home is beautiful, you guys. You're going to get tired of me saying it. Love it. Love all of the drawers that you have here. And you've got cabinets, but don't worry about lowers because you've only see two here because you've got four over here in the island. So part of uh, five, one is on the other side of the dishwasher. Really nice. Look how much space you got over here. So pretty. So pretty. You've got all of this pantry space over here. Just all of this shelving. I've got to open this cabinet. I bet you it's got three. Yep. Three shelves. Really nice. And then you've got your lower cabinet that has shelves for pots. Look at there. I love them. I'm going to have to put a situation like that in mind. And then you've got all of these drawers. Love this situation. Love it. And then you got shelving over here. Love, love, love it. Perfect. This kitchen is amazing. So remember I said this was an entertainer's house. So you're, you're here prepping. You got guests here and here. And you also got guests over here. So you got your living room. And you've got this family, wreck, man cave, children's room, whatever you want it to be. Look at this. This is a lot of house, you guys. This is a lot of house. So pretty. So now you've got this family room over here. Love how they have this feature wall. So, so, so pretty. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Over in this corner, you've got and it doesn't have to stay like this. This, you can have a little, I see a reading nook. I see a shelf over here with books. Uh, I see a big bean bag or a comfy chair with table and lamp and then a bookshelf here with books. Like this is what I see. What you do is different. This could be your kids, um, school homework area this could be a mud room situation this could be a craft area this could be a sitting room this could be whatever you want but you've got this situation here and then leading here you've got all of this additional living space so pretty love that wall love it look at all the lighting in this house like this is a house that keeps on giving yeah, we would have people over all the time. All right, so off your family room is the laundry room. You've got your back door there, your washer goes on one side, your dryer goes on the other. You've got the space here for um, folding clothes, detergent on the bottom. You've got this shelf up here. I would put a rod so I could hang stuff, but you could put stuff up there and you've got your deep freezer, mud room, whatever you want over here. Really nice, nice size laundry room. So nice. Love how they have this wallpaper here to match the wallpaper on that wall in the kitchen. Really pretty. And I love the decor in here. What is this, contemporary? Love it. So this is the master, we'll come back. Let's go over here and see the additional bedrooms. Really nice. So on this side, you have guest bedroom number one. All right, so this is a guest bedroom. It has a walk-in closet. 
large walk-in closet. Look at there. Just in the guest bedroom. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. You got your guest bath. Brought the wallpaper in here, so pretty. Really nice. You got guest bedroom number two, another nice size room. Another walk, large walk-in closet. Look at all the shelving you could have in here. Really nice. Really pretty. Okay, and then guest bedroom, another large room. Guest bedroom number three. Another walk-in closet that needs more shelving. All you gotta do is let them know, you guys. Sometimes these houses don't have it because they didn't finish it or and put it up or just because it's not standard. But hey, our house didn't have blinds, but when it was delivered, it did because we requested it. Now, of course, some things you have to pay additional. Some things you can't do. It's up to you. But how fun is it to add your own touches to the home after you get it? It's super fun. So there are your three bedrooms over here and your guest bath. Let's go see the master. I can't wait to see the master. This home is huge. Love it. All right, so you've got love this shelving. It's just what is needed right here. You can also put a table there with a lamp. It's really up to you. You've got this large, there's an echo in here. You hear that? Look at this large master. Like it has another zip code. This master is, listen to the echo in this master. It's huge. Look at there, all of this is master. Yeah, this is nice. Vents in the ceilings, can lighting in here. Really nice, super nice. Love that it's not carpet. All right, master bath. You have your two sinks here. Open shelving, drawers, and cabinet space. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. There's your wallpaper. Shit, I would put shelving over there. Like, look how much space you have in here. You got a tub and shower combo in here. Really nice. And then back behind here, you have your toilet. So you have a little privacy wall. Maybe somebody's in the shower, the other person is using the restroom. Really nice. Me and my husband are not afraid to go to the bathroom in front of each other. So one could be at the sink, the other's in the bathroom. You still have a little privacy. Super nice. And then you got this huge walk-in closet right here. Look at the floor so you can see just how much space it is. Huge, huge walk-in closet. Really pretty, really pretty. You can put some shelving over here or whatever you need. Really nice. This is the Everest. The Everest, you guys. It's a four bedroom, two bath, huge, 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 huge house. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is the Everest. This home, there's the information. Can you see it? Focus. All right, this is the Everest. It was 112.767. Right now it's 105.360. That's right, you guys. 105.360. You can't beat that price with a stick. Look what you get. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. This home is at Clayton Homes in, Col in uh, Lexington, South Carolina. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Have a good day. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one I see
see no reason why I should ever let you go. Mm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. Without Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know. 